Hello everyone, it's me, McMiner, and welcome back to another episode of the My Creation Showcases series here on Minecraft. This is episode 28 in the series now, and in today's episode we are going to be doing part 2 of my backrooms recreation finally. So yeah, the next 10 levels have been made, and yeah, Blue Slime King was able to finish levels 5 to 14, well with the exception of level 11, which I made my own design for. So yeah, we are going to be showcasing all 10 levels, plus the extra level that he did a tutorial on as well, which is the Run For Your Life level. So yeah, it, we are going to be showcasing all 11 of those levels, so yeah. We are where we left off from the last episode, because this is where we ended off the episode last time. So yeah, we go this way to level 5, the Terror Hotel. And I updated the hallway here as well. So yeah, this is level 5 here, the Terror Hotel. And I remember he comment- I remember Blue Slime King commented on my previous Backrooms Showcases video that he dreaded this level, and yeah, and considering how he was also making these for his own Backrooms map. But yeah, so here is level 5, this is the main lobby as you can see right here and this is personally one of my favorite levels from the backrooms to be honest with you because for some reason i do love i do love taking vacations at hotels especially one that's close to where i live which i'm not gonna explain what that hotel is because for probably obvious reasons but yeah we have this room right here like we have like the broken down door employees only we have the library lag spike there for a second we have the library here and yeah this is that and there's a lectern or whatever you call this uh, <laughs> I'm I'm still trying to learn the names of some of these objects but I think this is called a lectern correct me if I'm wrong because <clears throat> I remember there is one item that is called a lectern but yeah that's the library this is the lounge it's boarded up because it's flooded so yeah, you, if you go up here, you can see that I, I'm very surprised that you can now put paintings and carpets underwater. I'm very surprised at that. So yeah, that is very interesting. And yeah, we go straight ahead. And yeah, this is this is like a boiler room of some sort, I think. Blue Slime King, if you're watching, let me know if I'm correct on that hunch. But yeah, moving on, moving on to this hallway we have level 6 titled lights out which fun fact i actually still kind of do have a fear of the dark like i have a fear kind of of dark enclosed spaces so yeah this level would not be for me but yeah you can kind of see the outline like of everything like in the dark you need to make sure i f you probably should make sure you're either on peaceful or mob spawning is turned off for this. But yeah, that is, but yeah, this is level six titled Lights Out. There's the sign again because I think I forgot about that. But yeah, that is level six. And then over here is level seven, the Lassophobia, which fun fact, the Lassophobia is the fear of deep bodies of water, like oceans and all that. Like, I've seen, like, I've seen videos showcasing photos of, like, extreme, like, like, photos that you shouldn't look at if you have an extreme case of thalassophobia. But, yeah, this, is, there's nothing too special in this room either, but, yeah. Moving on over to level 8, which I really like the design for, even though it's a very small design. Like, even though it was very, even though it's a very small room. Level 8, the cave system, which I really like the little area here for. Which, yeah, there is nothing too interesting here. It's like, I really like how I did the detail for this level as well, with all the mossy cobblestone. Like, with all the moss, like, with all the mossy cobblestone and the, all that. Now, you have two options for this. You can either go through this door to go to level 9, the suburbs, but there's a button next to it that leads to the Run For Your Life level because... And I put that here because Blue Slime King actually did a 
tutorial on the run for your life level between levels eight and nine so if we press this button it'll take us to the run for your life level and yeah there is there is something that I personally added myself that wasn't in Blue Slime King's tutorials, and that is these hanging signs that say exit, because there are hanging exit signs in the Run For Your Life levels. So, yeah, if we keep running down here, it's... These, uh, yeah, if we keep running down here, yeah, luckily there are no entities or anything to run from but I like to think of it like that but yeah stepping on this pressure plate will take you straight to level 9 the suburbs which I really like the I really like what I did for the walls here because I remember seeing that level 9 takes place at night so I just made these walls of black wool for this level so yeah and I added these trees along here as well and yeah if we go in here this will be the this will be the little house that you can live in before you move on to level 10 which is the bumper crop or which is the bumper crop otherwise known as the field of wheat which <laughs> yeah i decided to i decided to make this like the other side of the house as well but yeah level not i mean no not level 9 level 10 is known as the bumper crop I'll, but or other people will call it the field of wheat but yeah there's a hoe and some bone meal for in case you accidentally step on any of the wheat and yeah <clears throat> nothing too special here moving on to level 11 which blue slime king didn't make any tutorial for level 11 so i just made my own design for it it is the endless city so yeah this is my own design here i just made like all these skyscraper type buildings and all that and there's this i made this traffic light in the middle as well and i put in bone meal and stuff to make it less empty so yeah nothing too special here so yeah moving on to level 12 so yeah there's this ladder and yeah, I just made levels 12, 13, and 14 today because I for completely forgot to do all that. We're going to level 12, the Matrix. This is, again, in Blue Slime King's design. So yeah, nothing too special here. So yeah. <sighs> Moving on to level 13, the Infinite Apartments. So yeah, only one door leads to the next level. So yeah, there are all of these doors that have nothing behind them only one of them has the entrance to level 14 next which is the last level that i made for this video so yeah which which is the last level that he's made a tutorial for so far that blue slime can made a tutorial for and yeah if you're wondering what door leads to level 14 it is this one right here so yeah it moves on to level 14 titled Paradise, which is basically just a crimson forest. Now, I really like what I did for the walls and ceiling here because I tried to go for the purple fog type feeling that you would get in level 14. So I made the walls purple terracotta and I made the ceiling, um, I made the ceiling crimson slabs to let some light in through the ceiling and I put in light blocks down here to get the rest of the light in so yeah i did not put in the entrance to level 15 yet because i'm gonna wait for blue slime king to make his tutorial on level 15 so yeah i am going to wait on that before i make the entrance to level 15 so yeah next back rooms showcase which will be on levels 15 to 29 and then after that i it will be every 10 levels it'll be showcasing every 10 levels so yeah this is the end of... But yeah, that is going to be it for this Backrooms Showcase. This Minecraft Backrooms Showcase slash this episode of My Creation Showcases. Thank you all so much for watching this episode. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you hit the like button. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing and ringing the bell for updates on new videos. Because next My Creation Showcases episode is going to be a Halloween themed... Is going to be a Halloween themed episode with a showcase of... A theme park that I finished slash updated it's one of my favorite theme parks that I've actually made so yeah it'll be on the PC and yeah
Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. See you guys.